Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're back in RTX Hardcore Minecraft. Uh, just a reminder for those of you who might be new, uh, it is not actually hardcore mode. We're playing on a hard difficulty and once we die we're gonna stop. It's the same thing but the Windows mode doesn't have uh, hardcore mode and, and I wanted to play on Windows mode for RTX and all the lighting, you know? But yeah, we're here in our hardcore world. My castle looks awful, we need to work on that. But that is for another day because we are going on a little adventure. I need to find... A saddle and I need to find pumpkins and I need to find sugarcane these are all on the top of my list so I'm gonna get started right away and run off before I start building and wasting half the episode I made myself a compass I ideally want to make myself a map but I have no paper so I can't do that right now oh uh, look the villagers have found more cows I stole their last ones and so I'm gonna kill these ones and I wonder why this village is always empty <laughs> there is like no villagers here ever and this is where I found the end the last time literally right next to my house when I was just looking for a cave to find uh, a feckin saddle in I found the end by accident. Oh, books. Okay, I can steal even more stuff from them. I'm stealing knowledge from them so they can't even rebuild their society. I'm also gonna take their bed <laughs> because I figure it'll be handy to have a few beds down <laughs> in case they need to sleep on this little adventure of mine. What is that path doing? It just goes nowhere. Oh, these villagers just had no chance, did they? <laughs> like, they're doing shit like that. They were already off to a bad start and then I arrived just screwing them over completely. Ah, sugar cane. That's the first thing on our shopping list. Checked off. We're off to a fantastic start. Okay, maybe the desert was the wrong direction to go in because this desert is never ending. Wait, is that a new village? Okay, I immediately retract my previous statement. I found a new place to ruin and it looks so cool. Hello everyone, I am here to rob you. Why does he store grass in his fucking house in that little box? Does it really mean that much to you? God, I've never seen a village like this. I'm so confused. At least this one has villagers. <laughs> what the? Okay, uh, pretty active villagers too. Jesus. Oh, he can give me pumpkins. Oh wait, no. He wants pumpkins. No, I, I need pumpkins. I'm looking for pumpkins. <laughs> I just looked up to see who's he looking at me as I take all his carrots. I'll just take this too if you don't mind. There we go. I'm getting lots of food. This is a great adventure. Oh my god, this is cool. I really like their village. It is a pleasure to rob you guys, honestly. Yeah, this is great. God, I'm gonna eat for a week now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> They're just staring at me from up on the hill. We've heard tales from the village over. On potatoes, you shouldn't have. You knew I was Irish, didn't you? <laughs> it's just fucking destroyed. It looks so luscious and green before I got here. I'm even stealing the food out of their little inventories now. Oh my god, a saddle. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. The only thing I'm missing now are my pumpkins. I think I might just head back and get a horse now. Because there's one by my house and then I could explore everywhere. Find more villages to loot and plunder. <laughs> like I got enough to, ironically, feed an entire village <laughs> out of all this food. <laughs> this world is blessed, honestly. If you've missed the last episodes, you don't understand how blessed this seed is. The end is right underneath my house. There was diamonds all over the village that I spawned at. It really is the easiest hardcore I have ever seen. If you're willing to be a dick, everything just goes easier, <laughs> including killing all of their livestock so they have no options to feed their children. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. You back off. I'm the bad guy around these parts. Okay, I'm getting a bit nervous. I gotta get in one of the houses. Get back. Don't make me defend them. I really don't want to. Get out. This is my house now. I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh god, what was that? <laughs> it's daytime and I feel safe. Did anyone die? The little baby llama. I don't know if they're alpacas or llamas. I'm gonna go with llama. <laughs> oh, it was him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a good guy. <laughs> I just wanted to get that point across. <laughs> I am definitely the bad guy of this world. Oh god, I need to drop some seeds so I can pick up all these carrots that I've stolen. <laughs> oh god, today is a good day. <laughs> right, I'm heading back to my house so I can get a horse. Oh, did you grow these overnight? God, you work fast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, this one's poison. You, you can have that one. You, you can eat that. That's fine. You can, honestly, you can take it. Why do I feel like destroying all these villages and killing that baby alpaca or llama will come back to bite me. Like, I feel like karma is coming. <laughs> oh, a donkey. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't like me. Should I take a donkey? Is there any advantage to having a donkey? Oh, oh God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I've changed my mind after that. 
the slaughter continues. Is that my house? God, that felt like it only took two seconds to get back here. I feel like it took a lot longer to get there than it did to get back. Maybe it's just because I'm in such a good mood after all that slaughtering. <laughs> Where is the horse? He always hangs around here. Maybe he ran off. I wouldn't be surprised given that I'm killing like every animal I lay my eyes on. <laughs> Thought you could hide, did you? <laughs> oh my god, more sugar cane. This world really does provide you with whatever you want. I just wish I had 100 diamonds to celebrate how good this world is. Alright, that might have been a bit hopeful, to be fair. <laughs> okay, I actually need a separate box for all the food that I've stolen because I have so much food now, it's insane. Alright, I think I need to expand the farm if I want to hurry up this cow production of mine because it's taking quite some time now. And I'm just about getting by with this stolen wheat of mine. <laughs> oh my god, what the shit? Oh my god, I almost fell down there. What is that? Jesus Christ, would I have died? Feckin' hell, I didn't realize I was living over this giant hole. God, <laughs> imagine if I died. Guys, imagine how horrible you would have felt as my prisoners. Like Stockholm Syndrome must be sinking in by now. You would have been devastated. There we go. Now a nice long farm. That's what we needed, I think. Right, cows? If I'm gonna generate enough incest to make a big farm, I'm gonna need to provide for you all. I'm a good person. <laughs> Look at that. 35 baked potatoes. I just want this game to be as realistic as possible, given we're in hardcore mode and we can only live once. So I want to act like I do in real life and just live off potatoes says any true Irishman would do. Okay, I might have to accept that wherever this horse went, he has fled the country to escape being owned by me, which I kind of understand. So I guess I'm going to start wandering again. But hey, I got to cook some potatoes and empty my inventory. So all is good with the world. Are you shitting me? Another village. Dude, my house is only over there. Wait, this could be a stronghold actually, is it? What the hell is up with this seed? I got to give you guys the seed whenever this whole thing comes to an end because this is fucking insane. I don't know if it's a good idea to come in here or not. Ah, this looks scary. <laughs> Let me Google if this is worthwhile or not. <laughs> All right. I googled it and thank god I did because it, it is worth going into apparently but there's often TNT pressure plates or something like that so I have to be extremely careful. Ah! Jesus Christ I'm trying to be sneaky over here. Yeah that's what I like to see. <laughs> Look at those ankles. <laughs> Do you have an OnlyFans by any chance Mr. Skeleton? I have potatoes. Where are you? Warning you, I have potatoes. I'm just watching out for this feckin' pressure plate too. Ah, uh, there you are. Oh, he doesn't even have armor. All right, the floor looks good over here. Okay, I think it might be under here. Aha, there it is. Okay, water down. Oh my god, that looks so cool. It's all lit up. Okay, we want to get rid of that pressure plate ASAP. There we go. Wow, this is really worth it. <laughs> oh, there's a saddle there as well. Okay, that's not too bad actually. <laughs> Gold horse armor and a golden apple. Okay, I'll take that. God, this seed is fucking insane. How many times do I have to say it? Lots of gunpowder. Fucking hell. More gold horse armor. Okay, it wasn't the best loot in the world, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Ooh, and there's the TNT. Holy shit, how much TNT do you need? Well, however many there are, I need it. <laughs> so I guess this is the right amount. <laughs> like, I'm not passing up TNT. I want it. God, the reflection tripped me out there. I thought there was a diamond pick on the ground. Did you see that? There we go. Another stacked inventory. Let me get out of here. Okay, my spawn is that way and I'm kind of full again. So I guess I gotta head back. I am gonna be devastated when I die and I'm starting to get paranoid that I will die because I never get this good luck in games. Like, never. So it, it really isn't computing in my head. Something is gonna go wrong. Anytime something good happens, like something twice as bad must happen. So if I got one diamond I fall in a pit of lava and lose two diamonds. You know what I mean? And I really don't know why that happens to me. Ah, Piggy, you die now. <laughs> like, there's my house. It took me hardly any time at all to get there. It's insane. I'm hoping that horse will come back now. Like, he was around here. I should have just pushed him inside my walls. Why didn't I do that? He used to always hang out here. I think he was even hanging out here at the start of the episode. But now that I have gold armor, maybe, maybe he's a bit of a gold digger horse. Maybe he'll come back. All right, another day, another 17 horrible things done out there in the wild. So another night's sleep and hopefully we can find a horse. That is our ultimate goal right now and this world is just handing me everything on a silver platter. I expect it to just be waiting outside for me. You know what? I think I'd actually be happy with that donkey now because, I mean, I have a second saddle for when I find an actual horse so a donkey wouldn't be too bad. You know, it would be nice, a nice starting point at least. A trusty steed. Donkey, where are you? I'm sorry I rejected you. There you are. Wait, you're a horse. You're much 
much better than a donkey. Screw the donkey. If I see him, I'll kill him. Oh, and he looks majestic too. Don't neglect me or I'll slaughter you. <laughs> yeah, that made him love me. Oh, he's got a lot of health too. Is that normal? It looks like he has tons of health. Wait, how do I... Hold on. How do I... How do I get this on you? Can I access your inventory? Oh, I can. Okay, there you go. There's your little saddle. Yay! Yahoo! <laughs> All right, let's get home. Oh, good things do happen to bad people. God, I must look like such an evil fecker. Just going through their village on a horseback, looking in at them with my diamond sword and whatnot. <laughs> Built off the backs of their work and everything they've done. <laughs> okay, th this is gonna be a bit awkward. You gotta, like, go in here, but I don't think you'll actually fit, and I don't want my hardcore world to end with me suffocating on a horse. Go, go in. Just go in, all right? <sighs> Fuck's sake. Okay, we're gonna have to work out some sort of system. But for now, can we just get rid of these and ride you inside? There we go. That's what I like to see. Obedience. <laughs> no questioning. <laughs> All right, let me treat you right. One second. Let me get my... Um... Oh, yeah, sorry for, for showing you the inventory there. I know I promised I'd fix it up, but I, I, I didn't. <laughs> it still looks awful. All right, there goes your armor. That's what I like to see now. You're blinging. See, I do treat you right, don't I? Why are you so slow, though? Do horses have different different speeds because he seems extremely slow like if anything this seems even slower than running if that's possible <laughs> see lots of bees as well over there I need to figure that out oh for feck's sake I did not mean to fall off <laughs> wait maybe I can get in over here maybe this will be a sneaky way of getting in oh yeah definitely definitely can get in this way yeah there we go okay we have our way in and we have our way out because we've got stairs out say hello to your new horse friend prisoners his name is donkey <laughs> even the baby is looking at me like like, uh. All right, we're gonna leave it there though. I hope you enjoyed. We got a lot done today and I only almost died once, which was nice, which was the pit under my, my farm, which I didn't expect. I gotta be a bit more careful. But things are looking up, I gotta say. I'm liking where this is going. If you could let me know what the deal is with the horses. Like, is he just stupid? Like, look at him. He, he's moving so slowly, just gliding across. Maybe I need a faster horse. I don't know. But for now, he'll do. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. If you did, maybe leave me know by leaving a like or, or a comment or whatever just so I know to make more I'm really enjoying this and hopefully we can keep going for at least a little bit longer before I die this world is extremely kind but still I'm a, I'm a bit of an Egypt so we'll see how it goes but yeah I hope you enjoyed I appreciate you watching as always and I hope to see you next time bye for now